guys, let's get started. Warming up, rolling those shoulders. Today's class is focusing on this area. So lots of butt, hamstrings, core, because that's just good for everything. So let's roll those shoulders, loosening up. Nice, and arms out to the side. Warming up those rotator cuff muscles. Very good. And nice big shoulder rolls. Perfect. Making sure you're not hurting your shoulders at all. Sometimes they can be a little pinched, just be careful. Alrighty, we're gonna start with our cactus. So taking a nice breath in and breathing out. Pulling those elbows into your waist, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Then breathing in, arms up, and breathing out as you stretch forward. As much as you're able to keep those knees straight, reaching forward, tummy pulled in, and then folding down to the ground. And curling up one vertebra at a time. Tucking that pelvis under, pulling the belly button in. Shoulder blades slide down and back, head comes up last. Breathing in. And out. Lifting up that chest, really squeeze those elbows together. Breathing in, arms up. And breathing out as you stretch, pull that belly button in away from the floor. And folding down. While you're here, hold your elbows and just swing side to side like a rag doll. Loosening off everything. Very nice. Placing your hands on the floor again, you're going to drop your bottom down towards your heels. In this position, you want to try and keep your heels flat if you're able to. Hands between your legs, arms between your legs, and rock side to side. We're going to make sure we warm up these hips and butt for today. Nice. Now, placing your hands on the floor, you're going to lift up those hips. You want to stretch those hamstrings, lifting up. Try and keep your hands on the floor. If you, if you can't, that's fine. And dropping down. Let's go for four more. Reaching up, stretch. Relax your head. And down. Three, reaching up. Feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings. Two more. Very nice. And last one, reaching up. Nice, coming to sit on your bottom, we're gonna do a nice hip mobility before we start. So you're gonna sit on your bottom with your legs nice and wide, feet wide, hands behind you, and you're just gonna start by rolling those knees side to side. So your feet are nice and wide, aiming to try and get those knees down towards the floor. Good, leaning on your hands behind you to start. Let's go for two more. Nice, one more. Now we're gonna keep doing the same movement, but you wanna have your hands up, so now they're not on the floor. And keep going. So your hands are off the floor, and you're rolling those knees side to side. Good, try and lift those arms up. It's a little bit harder, You'll find you start scooching forward. Don't worry, you can just move yourself back. Pull that belly button in as you take those knees round. Good, let's go for one more each side. That's it. Nice, find my place back again. Now, we're gonna roll the knees to the one side. As you can see, my foot is kind of touching my other knee, and now you wanna come up, squeezing through the bottom, trying to do this without using your hands. If you need to use your hands a little bit, you can. Going down, take the knees across to the other side. And squeeze, nice. And down, we're going for four each side. Rotate. If you have your hands in front of you, it does help a little bit with momentum to come up. And roll. Squeeze that bottom at the top. Nice, two more each side. That's it, very nice. That's really good to get those hips going. Start activating the glutes for what we're doing today. And up. Nice, last one coming up. Rolling over. Perfect, all right.
righty, come and lie on your back. We're going to go into our pelvic curl to start with, first exercise. So lying on your back, hands by your side, feet quite close to your bottom so you can touch your heel with your hand. And from here we're just going to roll up, breathing out, pushing through the heels, lifting with your tailbone, your pubic bone first, curling up all the way and rolling down through your spine. Keep that belly button pulled in. Let's go. Breathing out, pushing through the heels, squeezing up, get that clench at the top and curling down. We're going for 45 seconds, then we're going to add to this. Breathing out, tummy pulled in, squeeze and curling down all the way. Make sure that your coccyx is the last thing to touch as you come down. So you keep that tilt in the pelvis the whole way. This is going back to basics but it's such a crucial fundamental exercise. Pushing through those heels, squeeze the bottom, and curling down, very nice. We've got 10 seconds, breathing out. Then we're gonna hold it up there. Curling down, let's go for one more. Breathing out, tummy pulled in, pushing through those heels. Now hold it here, tilt that pelvis, tummy pulled in. We're gonna open and close the knees. You keep your hips level and we're just opening and closing those knees. Squeeze. Tummy pulled in. Keep pushing through the heels. That's it. Squeeze. <sighs> Breathing out. Keep thinking of scooping in those abs towards your spine. We've got 15 seconds left. That's awesome. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. Keep that clench in your bottom. You want to think of having a smile line where your bum meets your thigh. For five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Now hold it there. We're going to do little pulses up. Squeeze. Clenching up. Breathe out as you clench. Push through the heels so you're really activating your glutes. Nice. Tummy pulled in. Keep pulsing. Squeeze. That's it. The butt should be starting to burn. If you're feeling your hamstrings more, pull your heels in closer to your bottom. You should be feeling mostly the glutes. we got 15 seconds left. Then we get a little 15 second break and then we carry on. Nice. 10. Tummy in. Keep that tilt in the pelvis. Don't arch your back. Five, three, two, one, and rolling down. Well done. Hug those knees into your chest. Next exercise, we're going to stay down here. You're going to push through your, you have your right leg on the floor, left leg up. We're going to lift the hips up. As we lower down, drop that leg down. We're going to go up and down. Tummy pulled in. Let's go. This leg stays straight and you're just lifting it up and down, squeezing through this butt. Drop your hip up and down as you go. So we lower the whole body to the floor. That's it, lowering up and down. You actually touch the floor and then lift. That's it, make sure you drop your whole bottom down to the floor and up. So we're lifting, single leg lift. 15 seconds. Five, nice, three, two, one. Very good, we're gonna change legs. So we're literally lifting up and down with the hip and this leg's just following. Okay, so we're taking the whole bottom down and up. Let's go. Keep thinking about pulling in those abs. You're pushing through this left heel. So you're really squeezing your bottom. Lift those hips up and down. That's it. My left hip is going up and down, touching the floor, lifting up. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. And squeeze. We got 15 seconds. That's it. <sighs> Very nice. Five. Three. Two. One, well done. 
Staying in this position, you're gonna move your feet quite far away from your bottom now. So previously we could touch our hands, our feet, heels. Now we're moving the feet much further away. So there's just a small bend in the legs. So take it as far away as you can. So there's a very small bend. So we're not here, going a little further out. And we're doing the same movement from here. We're gonna lift up the hips, but now we're working the hamstring massively. Okay, so from here, tummy pulled in. Let's get ready to go. You're gonna push through your heels. Three, two, one. We're lifting up and down. Make sure your feet are even further away. I want your feet very far away so it feels too far. That's it. Breathing out, squeeze. This works the hamstrings and down. Hold it and down. You have a nice pause at the top. Tummy in, very nice. We got 20 seconds, breathing out, lift and down. Squeeze the tummy, squeeze the bum. If you feel like you're gonna cramp, move your heels in a little bit closer. 10 seconds, tummy in and down, nice work. Lift. For three, two, one. Very nice, come and lie on your side. Okay, we're going straight into some more glutes. So lifting up those feet, knees together. Have your knees 90 degrees in front of you, lifting up those legs. You can relax your head down, this hand can be in front of you. I want you to think of pulling your belly button in towards your spine, have a little tunnel under your waist so that you're not sinking. And from here, we're gonna go into our clam. Let's go. Breathing out, make sure your hip bones stay facing forward. What you don't want is to roll back. That's it, so you really get that squeeze in your glutes. Perfect, this will help with any back, knee, hip issues, and also create a nice peachy bum. Tummy pulled in, squeeze, that's perfect. All the way. As you breathe out, pull that belly button in even deeper. Awesome job. We got five seconds. Two, one. Now we're gonna hold this underneath leg there. We're going knee to knee, toe to toe. So we close the knees and open. Keep the underneath foot up and we squeeze. We often do this exercise with the other leg down. Now with the other leg up, it makes it a little bit harder. Tummy pulled in. That's it. If it gets too tough, lower that foot down and just do it with your feet down. We got 15 seconds, we got this. Squeezing in those abs. Hip step facing forward. Nice, squeeze. For three. Two, one, very nice. Drop that leg down. You're still gonna have your knee to your knee. We're gonna kick that leg up and bring it in. So we're kicking up sort of straight in line with our body, bringing the knee to the knee. That's it. When you kick up, I want you to make sure you don't arch your back. So I'm kicking to in line with my body, bring the knee to the front. That's it, tummy pulled in, squeeze. You should feel a nice tight butt as you kick back. Tummy pulled in. Beautiful, and squeeze. So here, connect, tummy in, don't arch. Breathing out as you stretch that leg away. Nice, knee to knee. We've got 10 seconds. Then we're gonna get a little 15 second rest before our next glute. Three, two, one, very nice. Rest it down, have a little rest. The next exercise for here, last one on this side, we're gonna take the leg in front of us. So now I'm not, it's 90 degrees in front of us, we're gonna drop it down and up. This gets quite tricky. If you find it's starting to get too much, then just bend your knee and it goes into a fire hydrant. So basically this is straight leg, or you can have it bent and going into the fire hydrant, okay. So let's start with it straight if you can, as long as you're not feeling your back. If you feel any strain in your back, bend your knee. All right, let's go. Tummy pulled in. 
down and up. That's awesome job. Really squeeze those abs. So I feel this burning straight away. We've got 30 seconds to go. Remember, if you need to, you can bend that knee. This is really a straight leg fire hydrant. Tummy pulled in. 15 seconds. Whew. We are feeling this. That's a 10. We've got this, guys. Let's make it all the way. Tummy in. Five, three, two, one. Sure. Well done. Let's go to the other side, but before we do, let's stretch that out. You're going to sit up, cross that left leg over your right leg, and pull that knee into your chest. So if you try and keep that butt down, and then opposite arm, pull that knee in towards you. So I'm twisting. That's it, and you should feel. So use your opposite arm, and pulling that knee in. You should feel a nice stretch. Awesome, let's go to the other side. So we're going to start with our clam. Knees bent up 90 degrees in front of you. Lifting up those feet. Tummy pulled in. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Perfect. Remember to keep pulling in those abs. You want to have a little tunnel under your waist here if you can. You can relax your head down. Your hips stay facing forward. Breathing out. Nice. After this, we will get a little rest for the glutes when we go into abs. The butt is burning. Tummy pulled in. Nice. We've got 15 seconds left. Breathe out as you lift. As you breathe out, you pull your tummy in even more. You get a little extra squeeze. For 10. Because we've just done the other side, my underneath butt is burning. Three. Two, one, very nice. Knee to knee, toe to toe. If you need to drop that lower leg, you can do it this way. That's it, squeeze. Tummy pulled in, we've got 30 seconds. Breathe out, pulling in those abs. Whew, I can feel my butt. It is burning. 15 seconds. Tummy in, nice work. Focus on the whole core. So your glutes are part of your core. We've got five, three, two, one. Very nice, have a little rest. We're gonna go from here, knee to knee, and kicking out in line with my body. Let's go. Breathing in and breathe out as you kick. Squeeze that bum, make sure you don't arch your back. Tummy pulled in. Nice. Stretch that leg away, pull up that quad. You want a nice strong leg. Squeeze it out. Tummy pulled in, you've still got that little tunnel under your waist. Your abs are scooping in towards your spine. Think of holding in a wee, a knape. Tummy pulled in. 20 seconds, very nice. And squeeze. Squeeze that bum, stretch that leg out. Four, five, three, two, one. Very nice. Have a little rest for 10 seconds. We're going to do our straight leg fire hydrant, so the legs in front of us. If you struggle, remember you can bend that knee. Okay, we're going to go in five seconds. Tummy pulled in. Three, two, one. Leg out straight, 90 degrees, down and up. Beautiful. Tummy pulled in as you go. Remember, if you need to, you can bend that knee. Let's try and push through this. This one really gets me. I've got long legs, so it's harder work. <laughs> and they're heavy legs, muscly. Good, we've got 20 seconds. Tummy pulled in. 10. Shoo. I'm in a cramp. Five, three, two, one. Well done. Great job. We're going to come in line your back. We're going to go into our ab section now. There's a little bit more glutes if we have time. So lying on your back, we're going to go into some abs. 
from here, lift, bend your knees, have your hands by your side. Let's move them from it a little bit. We're going to do our hip curls. So you keep your knees bent. You curl up, lift your bottom, stretch your legs out. When you stretch your legs out, make sure you don't arch your back. So you must make sure that you only stretch your legs out as much as you can, keeping your back flat on the floor. So if it means having your legs here, that's fine. If you can get your legs there, perfect. Let's go, breathing out. And stretch. Controlling that lengthening, making sure that your back stays glued to the floor. Tummy pulled in. That's it. Remember, if you feel your back arching, keep your legs closer. You can lift them here. And stretch. Tummy pulled in all the way. Beautiful. We got 15 seconds to go. Squeeze. Five. Three. Two. One. Very nice. From here, we're going to go into our single leg stretch. Keep your head down. Bend one knee, straighten the other. Breathing out to change. Again, your back stays glued to the floor. Let's go. Keep it up. Changing legs. Visualize those abs attaching onto your pubic bone, your pelvic bone, and tipping it up towards you. So you want your back glued to the floor. If you find that your back is arching, you lift your legs higher. If you can go lower without arching, go lower. Tummy pulled in. Nice long legs. When you stretch it out, pull up that quad. Squeeze, breathing out. Your head stays flat. Use that breath out to help pull in your abs. Nice, we've got 10 seconds. Remember to tilt that pelvis. Back flat. For five. Three. Two. One, perfect job. Hug those knees into your chest. We're going to go into our dead bug. Legs in tabletop position, knees over hips. Remember to tilt that pelvis. Make sure your low back is glued to the floor. If you find that's a struggle, bring your knees in closer. Hands up, palms facing each other. We're going to stretch opposite arm and leg away. Breathing out to come back. That's it. As you lengthen, fight the urge to arch your back. Pull those abs in. Your low back stays glued to the floor the whole time. Again, if you find your back is arching, keep your leg a little higher. Beautiful, we've got 20 seconds, tummy in. Breathing out to come back. Stretch. 10. Then we're gonna go into our double dead bug, which is literally both arms, both legs. If you struggle with that, you can stay here. Nice, so let's go into our double. From here, reach both arms and legs away and back. Again, if you find your back arches, keep your legs higher. So both arms and legs, stretch, keep that head down. Breathing in as you stretch, breathing out. Back stays glued to the floor. That's the most important part because that's a sign of whether your abs are working. Nice, we've got 20 seconds. Stretch. Don't hurt your back. If you want to go to the normal dead bug, you can. We've got 10. Tummy pulled in. Visualize those abs connecting onto your pelvis bone. For three, two, one. Well done, hug those knees in. We've got two more abs to go. Legs stay in tabletop, hands by your side. We're going to go into our leg swaps. This is another foundation exercise. Tummy pulled in, knees stay bent, the hinging happens at the hip. So the only place that moves is the hip. Breathing out as you change. Let's go. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. Beautiful. If you struggle with your head, if you feel like your head should be a little higher, you can always place your hands under it. Tummy in. You should be able to tuck your chin in. Keep those abs engaged, low back glued to the floor. Beautiful, squeeze. 15 seconds. My abs are starting to scream at me, this is good. 
Nice. Five. Three. Two. One. Very nice. Little break. 15 seconds. Then we're going to go into double leg swaps. Same thing, but both legs at the same time. So you're going to lower your feet to the floor. If you find your back arches, don't lower your feet down so low. Only lower the feet as much as you can, keeping your abs glued in and your back stuck to the floor. Okay. If you want to stay with the normal leg swap, you're welcome to. Let's go. Breathing in, breathing out. So really do this slowly. Focus on keeping those abs connected. Keep your knees bent at 90 degrees. That's it. And your abs stay glued to your spine. Your spine is stuck with super glue to the floor. That's it. This is tough. Really work those abs. If it's too much, go back to the singles. We've got 20 seconds. That's it guys, last ab exercise. Breathing in and out. Five. Three, two, one. Very nice, let's have a long stretch. Stretch out your legs, stretch out your arms. Reach for the wall behind you and ahead of you. Very nice. We're going to do a stretch for our glutes. I think they've done enough for us today. So let's cross your right ankle over your left knee. We're going to do our figure of four stretch. Pulling that leg in. We're going to add a little bit to this mobility. Just to spice it up a bit. Really pull that leg in. So you want to pull that opposite thigh in towards you as much as you can. Really stretching that hip. That's it. Very nice. Now from here, you're going to stretch that leg out. You keep this right ankle crossed over your knee. Lie it flat and let that hip drop out to the side. If you find you get any pain in that groin, lift your knee up. This is quite a stretch for the hip capsule. Now from here, we're going to do five, lifting this leg up off the floor. If you need to bend the leg that the leg is resting on, you can bend it. We're going to go for five. Now breathing out, tummy pulled in. This is a real abs one. If you need to bend this knee, you can do it with a bent knee. Okay, we're just going for five. We've got three more, tummy pulled in. Again, abs glued to the floor. Last one. Very nice, and let's change legs. Cross your left ankle on your right knee. Figure of four, pull that right thigh in towards you. Really stretching out that leg. So pull your legs in towards you, stretching out the glute. That's it. And breathe, pull in as much as you can. Very nice, let's stretch that leg out. Let that knee drop out to the side if it's comfortable. If it's uncomfortable, lift that knee up. Now five times, we're gonna lift your right leg up towards you. Tummy pulled in, tuck. Don't arch your back. You can bend this leg if you want. We're just going for five. Nice. Two. One. Well done, come and roll up into sitting. Good. we just got one last stretch to do. We stretched the other glute. We did this stretch for the other side, so now we need to do the other one. So I'm taking my right leg over my left. My left knee is bent on the floor. Take the right leg over. Try and get your bum sticking to the floor and hug that knee into your chest. That's it. And twist. Very nice. Perfect, and we had power the whole way. It's a good start to the day. Well done, guys.